Hi, <laughs> I'm Joanny. I'm uh, the lead data science here in Calgary for Natural Resources Projects. I just moved to Calgary. I'm loving this weather here. I'm <laughs> and I'm Brazilian. <laughs> okay, uh, then uh, okay, uh, just a very small background. I work with data science since before data science exists, right? It's just a new term. In the, in the past, I was just a modeler. And now I'm a data science here at IBM. I started to work in banking. I worked in several uh, natural resource uh, companies and also for uh, operations research. I did optimization for railway companies. And uh, to, uh, one particular company that I worked is Embraer in Brazil uh, that uh, we, are, we were able to create some uh, amazing projects there to optimize the aircraft uh, manufacture. Okay, starting with the natural research pro project. Okay, the first thing is why? Why are we working with natural resources? resources? Um, the first thing is, do they want it? The f then uh, IBM in the past went to the leaders of the natural resources companies and asked them, do you know what is co cognitive computing? And uh, do you want it? Do you think it's valuable for you? And the answer is yes. Almost 100% of them want to have this kind of technologies helping their company. But why? Uh, why are we doing this? Okay, there's a business justification. First, uh, uh, natural resources companies, mainly oil and, mainly oil and gas companies, they're collecting data for uh, decades, but they're not using it for anything. They're only using it to make graphs, to check if something is going well, but it's just, is this line higher than 70? That's all. That's, that's everything that they are doing. Uh, another thing is there is a high competition now. The, the, since the oil is not 120 anymore, they want to make more money. And uh, they want to make more money than the other companies, than their, this competition part. There is the cost efficiency. If they extract something from the earth or from the land or from the ocean, they want to have, uh, make more money for each gram of <laughs> anything that they extract. There is the process efficiency. If they, uh, I'm working in doing something, like for example, if they go to the oil sands in the Northern Alberta, if I extract a thousand uh, tons of something from the earth, I want to be able to extract every single value from that, uh, that thousand tons of uh, sand. And there's a limited availability. We know that natural resources are going to end sometime. Right? Then what we want to do, if we are exploring it, we, are, we want to explore it at maximum. We know that uh, natural resources is a good thing, but why Watson? Why uh, are they going vast to work in the Watson, and IBM in particular? Okay? One thing is, I can, uh, any oil and gas company or natural resource company can go to a data scientist, most of you here probably are data scientists, and ask you, can you create a model to predict a failure or to detect an anomaly, or to optimize the number of barrels I'm extracting. Yes, most of you can do it, right? But how long are you going to take? One year, six months, one month? The idea of Watson is, we are able to create this kind of model, this kind of technology, reducing the cost of the project and also having results much sooner. What is the advantage here? First, there, there are several APIs connecting uh, the tools inside the IBM Cloud and Watson in general. If I want to connect to our Oracle database, I have an API for that. If I want to create to, to connect to a, a SIPI data, I have an API for that. What's the difference? I can click a few buttons and I have this connected. I don't want to spend two months only to create one connector. And there are other parts, like the quick wins. Uh, there's, uh, for example, if I want a model that detects images or recognize images, Watson already has a model deployed on it that I only feed the images to train, and that's all. Click on it, it's going to read those, those images and create the, model, the recognition model for us. And okay, created it. I want to deploy, I want to give it back to the client. In few clicks, I have a, a web service avail uh, available for them to use. This is why uh, we're offering Watson to the clients. Then I join. Natural resources with Watson, what we have done here uh, in Calgary, we create the winners program, the Watson for Natural Resources. This program, uh, what, what is the objective of this program? 
we have, uh, we have big companies, Suncor, Husky, Shell, but we have smaller companies. We have Mindstar, we have Planes, that are much smaller companies. They're, those companies also want to be able to use Watson. They want to be able to use their data to be more efficient. What we are going to do is, we, we propose to them is, let's join our efforts, sit together, and uh, do, we ha do you have the same problem? D Planes and uh, Mindstar or Husky or OpsMobile, do you have the same problem? Yes, uh, we do have the, the, the same problem. Then let's, let's sit together, invest some money, and uh, create the same solution for you all. What's the advantage of, this, uh, of it? Sometimes those companies, they don't have uh, uh, the money to invest in the solution right now. Because if they invest by themselves, it's going to, it was going to be too much or too long. But uh, if they sit in a program like this, what they can do is uh, they share the cost, and every single one of them are going to have a solution. Then they, have a, they, join, the, they join their hands and have a better solution faster with less cost then every single one of the other companies that don't, didn't join the, the group are going to be behind and not going to be that efficient. And the other advantage of the R program is we have the NRC, Natural Resource Solution Center. Our people that work here in Calgary, at that corner there, they are people that have experience in the industry, some of them 30 years, 40 years, working in the industry, that helps us, that, that help us to understand the problem faster and create the solution that makes sense. There are several projects that we learn enough that we could just, could, just, uh, could just apply for a job in the company and be an employee there to do this, the, the thing that the, our model works. Then, uh, but this takes some time, we know that. Then we have the natural resource team, the NRC team, that help us to learn faster and provide solutions that have value. Okay, then, uh, then based on that, I'm going to talk about two uh, projects that we are, we are working right now. I don't want to give uh, too much details, and don't want to extend too much, but I want to give you an idea of what we are doing. The first thing is plant optimization. Think that you have a refinery that, uh, that's processing oil and transforming gasoline, transforming kerosene. This, uh, this plant has several different assets working on it pipes and, and everything else. And I'm sure that some people recognize this picture. <laughs> uh, what happens is, there is one, usually there is one person that is the coordinator of the plant. Some companies call it sidewide lead. This person, is, uh, his job is to check how my plant is flowing. Is it efficient? What, uh, is it producing the maximum possible? And if something happens, a pipe breaks, a valve is stuck. What do I do to solve this problem? I, I lost my power. Then our project is to, for plant optimization is, the first objective is to, uh, the plant is working normally. Okay, where are the points or bottlenecks that we ca I can optimize? If I'm producing 10,000 barrels today, can I, buy, uh, can I produce 10,000 barrels and 100? This is our AI solution is looking for 100,000 uh, tags on this facility, looking where is the bottleneck, how can I change the small parameters here and there to extract a little bit, uh, a little bit more. And this a little bit more, 100 barrels per day pays the project in a few months. But this 100 barrels now can be 1,000 barrels tomorrow. And uh, the other part is, Something broke. Uh, my pump is not pumping. <laughs> my, uh, my power uh, is cut off. I don't have water. My, my water was, uh, was supposed to be uh, in a high pressure 200 degrees, but it's only 175. What do I do? It's a very hard problem to solve. And um, our AI, what it's going, to, it's going to do is first, detect it some, that something is going wrong. Water is going, was supposed to be 200 and that is 175. The first thing it's going to do is to trigger an alarm. It's off normal, something is happening, there's an anomaly here. The second thing it's going to do is, what do I do to come back to normal? Then the AI is creating a se sequence of steps for the cytoid lead to guide him and to check where, uh, where are the uh, small changes that he needs to do to keep everything safe 
and under control, and also to not lose money, to go back to normal and start to optimize again. These are, this is the, uh, the project that we're working right now. Uh, we have some experienced data science there, and uh, this is highly using Watson. We have several terabytes of data created every day, and uh, Watson is helping us to read this data, process it, put, uh, push it into the model, and helping us to uh, evaluate what the, mo what the model is, is doing. And uh, we are creating more than 10 different models to check what's the best one. I can uh, manage my plant. I can uh, be sure that the, my production is maximized today. Or I can be sure that uh, uh, my fa uh, if I can predict. But uh, what's the other part? Like this, this, for example, is a project where uh, I am a contractor. I provide services to oil and gas companies, something. Like, for example, I turn around. They are going to replace a cooker in their plant. What they are going to do? They are going to ha ha pr pr put in the market, I want to replace a cooker. I need a company to help me to create the project to make this replacement. Probably it's going to take six months to do, the, to do this process. And they, they give to the contractors the PNID, PNID the diagrams of this uh, pr process or the plant or the facility. And they ask, OK, can you give me the price and how long you are going to take to replace this cooker? We are going to take to take process, uh, replace this cooker. OK, then several contra contractors are going to prov uh, give a price. And uh, usually, they are going to hire the lowest price. But it takes forever. There are more than 1,000 documents to, for them to read, understand, and be able to create the program. The, the project to replace a cooker, for example. And uh, what we are doing is we are creating a pro, uh, an AI to read all those documents, understand them, and automatically give the, uh, the, the contractor what are the important information that they need to know to create the best project. This is being reduced from six months of manual work, literally manual work. A person is opening uh, PDFs and uh, circling manually the objects in the PNIDs. We trained the image recognition software uh, tool from Watson to understand what are the important assets in the PNIDs, what, are the, what is a tag ID, for example. And uh, he's going to see, oh, this is a pump with this tag, and it's going to give an automatic report to the contractor. With this, they are able to reduce to, instead of months to hours, they, uh, they don't have problems with price variance because I don't know in six months how much it's going to cost the, the oil. I'm giving a price now based on the oil at 70, but maybe in six months it's 58. It's completely different price, price, chain, uh, price uh, set. It's going to be a different contract value that I'm going to give them. It's less prone to human errors. We know that uh, AIs have errors, but the, usually the errors of the AIs are consistent. The errors at the same time, at the same way. Humans know what the human errors are very random, and we don't. Uh, it's very hard to predict. And I said more than a thousand documents. That what what we do is we mark all the tools. And here, for example, is uh, one of the results. We are able to detect every single one of the tags and the equipments in a PNID uh, diagram to give them, and they are able to process. Uh, and create the project later. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>